Hey everybody, welcome back to Obsession, and why did it give me the secret right away? Well, probably because this is, there's not really a secret. It's called Reanimator, and uh, I'm scared. Because that usually means, well, I don't know. Arch files are reanimators, and I don't like arch files. Okay, I actually kind of like arch files. But, okay, whatever, whatever. Let's just hit the switch and, <laughs> and pray. <laughs> okay, okay. What's the worst that can happen? Need I? Oh, oh no. Oh no, 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 no. No, why, why, why is this happening? Look at the kill count. Okay, so there's two ways that could have happened in vanilla rules. It could have either been a barrel explosion or a crusher. Oh no, ghost enemies. There's gonna be ghost enemies, aren't there? <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, and I gotta shoot this. What the frick? I don't think, I can't even see where to go. All right, there we go. I guess one advantage of having ghost enemies, okay, well one, I don't have the rocket, okay, there we go. One advantage of ghost enemies is uh, I can run through them. Yeah, they're definitely ghost enemies. In case that wasn't obvious. Boss brain? Okay, I guess I just have to survive. Jeez, I just... It's so funny, because like I'll randomly see flames, and then I'll just get... Yeah, I don't know. Actually, one advantage of having all these ghost enemies... Okay. Is that, uh... Uh, yeah, words. I could shoot through them to fire at the archfalls, except for the cyber demons. Of course, when they get in the way, that just kind of ruins everything. I mean, you know, considering how much archfalls like to ruin everything, it seems kind of fitting. So, um, it seems fitting that other demons from hell would do the same thing. What am I even talking about? Anyway, let's just uh, get her done, I guess. Okay, that one died. Uh, wow. I'm looking healthy. I'm looking very healthy. The chain gunner is what kind of scares me the most, I'd say. Well, okay. Hit scanners in general. How about that? Okay, got him. Because that's the thing, when, uh... They die, they turn on me. Oh, this is a rather bassy track, isn't it? <sighs> okay. I have a lot of health. Is there any health? Shit balls. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh. I think there's literally only two enemies in that cyber demon. Well, two ghost enemies and that cyber demon. How about that? And I just need to bait them accordingly. Kinda. Alright. Did damage to him. Fuck. I saw it too. God damn it. Well, this is working out really well. <laughs> damn it! Like, I almost did that first try. Shit. Ah. <sighs> I panicked. <laughs> oh well. I think what I'll do, I'm because this takes a while. I, I'm just gonna go ahead and save at the bottom of the lift. That way, if I um, backpedal into a rocket again, we don't have to go through the whole descent process. So anyway, uh, this time around, going to focus a bit more heavily on the Archie vials, and uh, yeah. Because they caused me a lot of grief. I got a few... I got a um, light peppering from hit scanners, but... Generally speaking, it was, uh... Oh, this is, um... I'm not crazy about how this opens. Uh, it feels like... It feels very RNG. I mean, they're everywhere, and if... Uh, enough of them hit you, you get completely disoriented, and you have no chance. Okay. Wow, I'm stuck. 
So, wait, the demon, the pinkies aren't ghost enemies? Uh, okay. I like the concept, I just don't think there should have been spawners right in front of the entrance door. That, that, that seems a little bit cheap to me. Maybe there's a consistent strat for it, but I don't have enough health for this. Screw it. Um, yeah, maybe there's a consistent strat. I really don't know, but it just kind of feels like it's leaving a lot up to chance. Especially with the incredibly poor visibility of the map. It's definitely better than having a Wolfenstein throwback, though. Because I will say, this is probably the map that resembles the originals the least, and let's be real, that's probably a good thing. Alright, so, um... I think I'm kind of getting a vibe for why the, uh... Uh, demons were solid. Kind of give... Damn it! It kind of gives a uh, nice little challenge for, uh, oh my god, I'm just taking random damage from hit scanners. But anyway, it kind of gives you a nice little challenge for, um, shoot, what am I talking about? It gives you something to dodge while you're waiting for things to stuff. Yeah. <laughs> that sounded kind of gross, actually. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm not crazy about the hit scanners at all. For some reason. Uh, right. Are there any of them? Yeah, there are. Of course there are. Okay, I got the hit scanners. Um, oh, that was close. How my luck, that would have been a max damage roll. Yeah, um, oh boy. I gotta say, those uh, revenants are not easy to hit. They are very quick, very speedy. All right. So, uh, no, no, bad weapon. I guess now the question I have is, am I going to have enough ammo to actually finish these guys off? Because this is one of those easier said than done sort of things. Especially since they kind of still run in that V, that uh, zigzag pattern. Oh man, and I can't really get full damage on them because it's kind of amazing how much uh, of an impact that, um, shit. I can't even talk. But it's amazing how much of an impact that, like, initial, um, projectile damage has. Alright, I think the level's over. Oh my god, so I was really close last time. God damn it. Alright, well that was Reanimator. Yay. <laughs> Honestly, if I wouldn't have been as, um, as I thought there was something... I mean, I heard the boss brain get damaged, but... I don't know, I guess I kind of thought there might have been something else I had to do. But yeah, I would have been able to get that first try if I wouldn't have, um... If I would have just stuck around and hid. Oh well, whatever. We got it! Yay! <laughs> Alright, on to the next one. Cold... Cold Ascent? Oh, I didn't get the secret... Super secret exit. Okay. What do I have to do to get that? <laughs> Alright, well, at least I know where these are now. Alright, getting better at that. Okay, so that's not really as bad... Oh, okay. Uh, it's really not as bad as I originally thought it was. It's still not great, but... I mean, it... I guess it's just one of those things where it takes a few, um... Takes a bit of practice. Oh, uh, okay. I'm not sure how he wasn't in fighting, but whatever. One thing that I do find kind of funny, though, 
is how often the cyber demons will directly shoot at the arch files because their actual infight target is right behind them. Actually, now that I think about it, the cyber demons make for some pretty good, uh... Could bounce the rocket splash off of them. Oh, ha, ha. I got discombobulated. Yeah, I saw you coming up. I was wondering if maybe I should just take some of the cybies out. No, I, I kind of like using them... As splash damage, which my fudgets. Except for Arachnotrons, they're very, very poorly behaved. They're kind of damaging them as well as everything that's around them, so that kind of, kind of works, I guess. Agua. Ah, uh, boy. Two enemies left. Okay, and these guys should be pretty easy to bait. Okay, and I've got about a minute to find whatever it is I have to do. Which doesn't seem to be anything to do with that. Uh, wait, what was that? Evil Eye? Some sort of sigil type of thing, or... <laughs> okay, I think that's it. Okay, so it's a very sigil-like <laughs> secret ending. And hey, I got all the, the kills, technically. Your very existence begins to fade in this dark realm. You'd better find a way out soon. Uh, 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 uh. uh what? Um. Okay. What? Um, oh, oh, intercept overflow, I get it. Okay, so, um, I am a ghost. Oh, this is all, also called Bed of Creation. I've got RTVs, uh... Which, unfortunately, it also means that they get to do their thing, too. Oh, this is such a weird thing. wonder how this would play with Z-Doom. Considering that doesn't have the all-intercepts issue. Or all... You know what I mean. Um, intercept overflow. I'm not even sure it has a way to simulate it. What the fuck? Alright, well I haven't been here. That seems to be a pretty good barometer of... Oh, I've been here, I think. Oh, this is so weird. Um... Well, fortunately, because all this stuff are solid walls... In a matter of speaking. Um... If you squint a little, I guess. Oh, this is so weird. Um... Do these weird sigils mean anything? So there's 30 arch files. I guess on the bright side, that mm, 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 mm. that means that if I get them all into like one place, they won't be a problem. Is there a wall here? Yeah. Well, this is new, I think. Okay, so these are pillars that I can hide inside of. Oh shit, I'm dead. This is such a weird... It's like impossible to navigate through this. Uh, okay. I mean, this is about as non-conventional as you can possibly get when it comes to uh, secret maps. In case that needed to be stated. I thought there was an entrance here. I guess not, okay. So, wait a minute. Is there just some... I'm just not sure if there's like a... Some sort of guide, or...? <laughs> Dumbass. 
Um, yeah. So, um... <laughs> where do I go? So this might be one of those cases where I do need to... Well, I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything that might have been a hint. Nope, this is new. And by that, the reason I know that is because it didn't appear on the auto map. At least I know these are quote unquote solid pillars, so, um, there's that, I suppose. Okay. My god, this is, uh. Holy crap. <laughs> I. I'm just. I'm lost. I'm very, very lost. For some reason, I, I don't know why. This is that. No. No, this is the start room again. But no, I've already been here. I can tell by all the angry Archies. Ah, jeez. I don't know, um... This might be a little too non-conventional. <laughs> Cause it's just, uh... I don't know. Have I gone... Oh yeah, I remember this. The problem is, like, if there is something that's showing up on the map, I'm not really in a position where I can... act on it in any way. Hmm. Wait, this is new. I think. I don't know where I am. Oh, jeez. Because, like, there's all these, like, glyphs or something like that on the floor. But it's like it doesn't really mean much to me. <laughs> All right. uh, maybe I'm just dumb. I don't know. No, nope, not on that side. Uh, I'm also kind of going with the assumption that you need to use the auto map to kind of guide you along because I mean I don't know what else you can do really all right I haven't been down this tunnel at least on this playthrough wait is this a safe zone no it's not <laughs> safe zone what's a safe zone um Crap. Okay, I haven't been on this hallway yet. I just don't understand. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's cool conceptually, I'm just, uh... Might not be big brained enough for this. What? I don't know where I am. Okay. Did I say that as if it's not obvious? Um. There's something over here? No. Now we're back in here. This is just weird. And, um, yeah, now we're back in the starting room. Once again. And this just, it doesn't, it feels like this room has to have something meaningful in it, right? Aside from those arch files that are now pouring into it. <laughs> um... I 
I just, I don't know. I, I don't know where to go. Um, hmm. Not exactly the greatest showing of the map, I understand that, but if you're lost, you're lost. I could potentially, I don't know how much it would help, but maybe I can use map markers to kind of show where I've been, although I, there's only nine markers, and I'm not sure there's going to be enough. Um, okay. Great. Dead again. I don't know where the fuck to go. Hold on. And uh, there's nothing... Is there anything, like, text on the map anywhere? It's kind of looking like a big old nope on that. It does go down quite a ways. Yeah, there's like no markings on the wall or anything, so, um... God, I don't even know. And this is the only way, only place I can go safely. And it also seems to have nothing in it. The darkness doesn't help. It's kind of a theme with this wad, but eh, still. Okay. Um, all right. I guess let's start this way for a change. It's not really. Let's go like out this way. does say something about escaping. I don't know. Okay. Maybe it's something like that. Because, I mean, that seems to be the only area, like, I mean, there's arch files, so maybe you need an arch file jump. Alright, let's, uh, let's just round up as many as we can, I guess. God, what a weird map. them there are puzzle maps. And that might be why there's so many arch files, is because you can't really count on them all cooperating on uh, ultraviolence like you could in, like, say, Nightmare. I mean, case in point right there, they're all just zapping at random times. I, mm, I, I just wish there was more of a hint. Like, that's, uh... I guess maybe that starting, or that intermission text was the hint, but still, I don't know. Still just feels like it's, I don't know, maybe a bit oblique, if you will. So, um... They're both awake. Jeez. It's really hard to even see. <laughs> Does not help matters. Now, maybe not, because there's more views out into that weird area. This kind of feels like you do need to get maybe Archfile boosted somewhere, but where? seemed like the most logical area to me, but, you know, at the same time, jeez, there's multiple areas that kind of look into that, I don't know, alright, let's just let some of them catch up, okay, need more than one, that's for sure, we're gonna try this strat again, if I have to look it up, I'm just gonna look it up, because, uh, might just be okay. All right, we're over here now. Hey, there we go. All 
Alright, well at least I was right about that. Holy shit, what a weird map. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, I guess I figured it out eventually, but that's still just a very, very strange thing. I don't know. <laughs> Took a little while. Took a little bit of thonking, but... Eh, I don't know. I'm just, I'm trying to think if there's really any hint or if it was more just me thinking, oh, hey, Archie jumpy over the ledgy thingy. But, yeah, I'm kind of thinking it was just, I, I don't know, maybe me having a clever moment. Who the heck knows? But, yeah, those were the secret maps for um, Abscission. I like 31. I think that's, that's a pretty cool thing. Uh, 32 is, um, I don't know. It's okay conceptually. Like, I think it's a neat concept, but I, I'm not sure about its, its execution in this case. It just feels like, um, well, I don't know. It, because there's, like, a lot going on, and you have to kind of know a lot of mechanics. Like, I'm not really sure how this would work. Like, okay, so maybe for ultra-violence players, like, people mid-tier ultra-violence players and up would probably eventually figure it out. Because, I mean, I'm probably at about that mid-tier level. I'd say. But I don't know how this would work on lower difficulties. Because it's like the, um... If you're looking at players who are on, like, Hurt Me Plenty and Below, and I, a few of my friends are in that ballpark, I'm just not sure how they would... that they would really think of using the Archfile Jump mechanically. I don't know. Maybe the map makes concessions for, um, lower difficulty players. I, I'm not sure right now, but I, I just don't see how anyone who's outside of that realm would be able to figure it out. And even then, it's still kind of just, let's try this and see if it works. I don't know. It's a good experiment. I guess that's probably why they're in the secret level categories, because um, they're very experimental levels. I'm not sure... I I'm just not sure how playable they are, but yeah. At least you don't have to go through them. They're not part of the normal progression. It's not like a Scythe Map 28 situation where you're basically forcing everyone to become a speedrunner just to progress with the Megawad. So, um, I don't know, I can't hate it too badly. And like I said, conceptually it's fine. I'm just uh, a little unsure about the execution. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to cut it there. Um, kind of a short one this week. A little busy, so, you know, what you going to do? But, uh start playing through the uh, normal parts of Abscission. <laughs> Especially normal compared to this stuff. Holy crap, those are some interesting secret levels. But uh, we'll get back to that next week. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.